Hi friends, thanks for joining me. It's Morag here with another process video for you for Hip Kit Club using the incredible December kits. And today I'm taking part in the mood board challenge. And um, so I've got a bit of a confession to make that my video failed. <laughs> so um, I went with the idea of creating these hearts um, along the bottom of my page and um, unfortunately as i say i don't know what is going on with my video app but it didn't record for some reason um so what i did is took that wood grain paper um, and mounted it onto the white dot paper there and created a border of hearts of which i've stitched on lots of little buttons and so on so i love how that turned out um, I've used, um, sorry, fussy cut some flowers from one of the pattern papers this month. Um, just because I like a bit of fussy cutting. Um, there are beautiful flowers in the embellishment kit, for example. Um, but I just, I don't know, I fell in love with that, that pattern paper. Um, and so went with that. So to brighten things up, I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, colour there. I'm just going to introduce a little bit of that yellow for no other reason that I just love that yellow paper. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to my flowers by curling up the edges. Um, so when they're mounted, they have a little bit more dimension. Now, I have to say off camera, I had faffed around going backwards and forwards <laughs> as to where shall I place things. Um, and I ended up with this as my placement. Um, so I did cut out a lot of uh, procrastination. And I've mounted my flowers onto foam tape, again, just for a bit of extra dimension. And I just added that little bit of pattern paper. Um, I don't know, I think I was introducing a little bit more pattern um, or I just like the flow. So I wanted to bring some uh, interest to that top left corner um, but I like the way those flags flow down the page I think it helps to draw the eye down a little bit I might be making that up to be fair <laughs> that's how I feel anyway so I'm using some of the leaves from the uh, embellishment die cuts um, but I also fussy cut some more elements out of that pattern paper too so a bit of a mixture that's going under those flowers. And uh, once again, I am dining out on the photos we took in Rome. Uh, we went to Rome in November last year. Had an absolutely incredible time, just me and my hubby. Um, so it's hopefully one of the first of many trips that we'll be taking on our own now that our kids are a little bit more grown up. So it's just a short break. So those in the US, I'm sure you're quite jealous that we're just able to hop on a plane from the UK and then land in a fantastic foreign country such um, as Italy. Um, we went to Venice last year as well as Rome. Um, so if you get the opportunity, we did meet a few Americans on our travels this time and they're just wonderful, but, you know, really getting out there and seeing a bit of Italy. Um, so I think... We just need to do the same because it's on our doorstep. So uh, that was a bit of a side issue, side thing really. I don't know why I mentioned that. Um, I'm going to put my title over on the right hand side. I didn't really think about what I wanted to do for a title when I started, um, as is my way. Um, but I'm going to make up the title with a few different elements, I think. Now that frame is from the die cuts in the main kit, I think on the bottom right there. And I really loved how that, I don't know, just how that looked against that um, heart border. So um, I'm just gonna cluster a few small things down the bottom, not too much because I feel like if I would put too much down there, it would really compete with those, with the border itself and also the big bunch of flowers at the top left there. So. I'm really aiming to balance things up a little bit, that's all. So a simple photo in the middle. And I'm just going to draw attention to that frame a little bit. I did like it unfilled, if you know what I mean. So you could just see the wood frame, the wood grain behind it. 
but I really love the black and white stripe, so I am going to be using that. And that's from the Pocket Life kit. And I'm just going to tuck that in behind that heart border and then just lay up a few little bits and pieces. Um, but I, I really wanted that just because of the date portion of it. Um, yeah, and it was just a good excuse to use a bit more of that gorgeous chipboard. I think that's from the main kit as well. And then tuck in a flower and a leaf from the embellishment kit. So if you don't have all the kits, which I can understand, um, you know, you may just do some add-ons each month. Um, what do I like the best? I think the embellishment kit is my favourite thing, um, as well as the main kit, obviously, but to add the embellishment kit, although it's really hard to distinguish sometimes, because actually I do love it all. Um, but I, thought, I really think the embellishment kit is a good investment because you get so much in the main kit. You've got loads of papers um, and truly you could make dozens of layouts with each kit. And then I find I go back to um, the embellishments because I love die cuts and stickers, obviously. Um, and then I think I'll do my assignments, but then I'll come back a few months later um, and then use up some more of the bits and pieces um, just so you've got a little bit of break in between because I think that just gets the juices flowing, doesn't it? Um, I think I made a layout a couple of days ago, uh, completely unrelated um, layout, but I think it was from the October kits. Oh my goodness, I had such a lovely time creating with that and, you know, I've just my brain was on fire with excitement. Um, and then I could mix in some bits and pieces from other kits I've had. So, you know, I think it's about clever um, filing and storage so that you've got access to these and you could go back and just check what bits you've got left over um, and use them, you know, together. And I see some fantastic things in the Facebook group of people creating layouts um, with some older pieces um, or mix them together. So... You know, do go and check the Facebook group. It is just a wealth of inspiration. Um, the design team, I can't spell favourite there, look. Um, the design team will post their layouts for that kit in an album. So if you've got the December kit and you get that out, you think, oh, what shall I do? Go check out the December album and you'll see all the designs from the design team. And there's such a great variety of talent on the team and different styles. So you're bound to find something that you really like. So um, while I was waffling, I just added some of the stars. I think I saw the alphas and didn't realise on the reverse side of that are all these little stars and dots. I mean, genius, absolutely genius. So I love a star and the colours are just divine. Look at them, just beautiful. So um, definitely something that will just go on a card, any project, any kit, because there's so, so many. Um, absolutely amazing. So I am almost done and I apologise for the missing portion of my layout uh, or the process. Um, I literally just punched uh, a lot of hearts with uh, my punch and then I just um, layered those across the page and used some smaller punched hearts um, over the top. So nothing very difficult. Um, but I do think sewing on a few little buttons um, really made a big difference to that. Uh, I'm sorry for my top in the frame there. I think I was standing up at this point. I was having a bit of a glue issue. Um, I've changed my glue in my um, fine liner there. Um, and it just, I didn't know glue didn't dry clear. And I've, what I've noticed is this glue dries white. Why on earth would anybody want white glue? I don't know. So I need a way of emptying that bottle um, and changing it back for proper good glue. <laughs> so I think that is wrapping it up, is it? Just going to add a few little bits and pieces. So the mood board challenge is on 
uh, for a couple of weeks. So how does that finish? We'll just check the, the artwork. Um, and all you need to do is load your layout into the Facebook group, um, just onto the challenge post, which you'll find under the featured um, elements, uh, featured area of the group. And you get a chance to win $25 to spend in the shop. So what does that translate to? You could, um, I think if you get the subscribe to a kit, you'll get a discount off your other kits anyway. So to me, I think that almost equates to a free kit. So definitely worth entering. Um, we just announce the challenges and then we'll send you the gift code. Um, so that you can spend that straight away. Absolutely lush. I love how this turned out in the end. Um, and that was really starting from that mood board. I really hope I've inspired you to dig out your stash and start scrapping. Um, I think the papers, as you can see, look how lovely all the papers go together. And doing a like a punched board or a die cut board is a really great great way to use up some scraps um, and I just this kit the December kit as always is absolutely delightful I'm so pleased that I've now got my January kit to play with so that's just arrived oh and it's even more exciting so I'll see you on the next video or on the hip kit club group and uh, see you next time thanks so much bye